Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York. It is Monday, February 13th, 2017 and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. After Friday's uh, subtly lower close, we're getting more of a dramatic sell-off today as the market actually sold off about $9 going into the close with uh, April futures closing at $12.26.90. That is a drawdown of about $9 on the day or three quarters of a percent. Now it's traded to a low of 12.20 and 30 cents and the high on the day has been 12.34.40. So we're pretty much in the middle of that range. Much of the morning's losses were directly attributable to a much stronger US dollar, which did par uh, some of those gains as we went into the close. And therefore we saw gold uh, rec recover slightly. Uh, silver also trading lower on the day, uh, trading off by about 12 cents at 17.81. So it is really flirting with that $18 mark, but it hasn't been able to sustain that. 1801 is the high on the day with a low of 1775. Of course, we covered our long positions in gold uh, back last week and we covered them at 29. So it's a little bit lower than where we actually covered at. And so we're going to talk about where we can look for potential support to come into the market as we look at our first gold chart. So traders, here we are on Monday morning. We have definitely seen this market over the last three days correct. We are certainly getting a continuation of that today. Of course, we covered our trade roughly at 1229. That was for all of our subscribers that were trading uh, single contracts. For any of our subscribers trading multiple contracts, in essence, I said to take profits on half, you can let the other half run. For traders that have done that, you aren't stopped out yet. The low today was $1,220.30. Your stop is below $1,220. But let me talk to all of you about where I think this market could head to from here. And so the traders that have pulled partial profits, even if you get stopped out at $1,220, you will pull profits because all of them came in at $1,203. So you're going to have good profits either way. But a way to optimize those profits as well as our single lot trader subscribers to give them a good idea of where we're looking to re-enter the market. So based upon that, this is my most current model. Definitely had some sort of a wave one that began the rally, of course, end of last year, beginning of this year. Took us to a top of approximately 1220. From there, we had a roughly a 38% correction. And that is about in line with the correction that we would look for a little bit below that, but it certainly wasn't near 50 or 61. So that would have completed a wave two right in here. We are in a wave three. Of course, my upside target for wave three comes in at around 1280. And so based upon that assumption, this is then a sub count within that third wave. We've seen one, we might have seen two, two could go a little bit further. We'll talk about that in a second. And then from there, we're going to get a three, maybe a four, and then a fifth wave up. And so I think that when we look at the subcomponents of this rally, we are either at the tail end or conclusion of this current kind of correction, or we could have a little ways lower to go. The lowest that I would anticipate would be a 61% retracement. And of course, the retracement that I've added is a very, very short-term retracement from these lows here at around 1180 up to these highs here that are just at about 12 42. And then lastly, I do want to look to see if we can identify any candlestick patterns in the most current activity. Of course, what we did see, and this would have been back on Thursday, was really a dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover is after a defined uptrend. We certainly meet that criteria criteria here you get a long green candle then you get a red candle that opens above it and closes at the midpoint or below which we can certainly say came true we did get a confirming candle of course that came in right here that would have been friday's and then today's lower move we're now sitting at the market roughly with a 38 percent retracement of this move up so we could look for some sort of conclusion whether it's here at 1221 as low as 12.05, again, that would be a 61% retracement. 
So traders, as far as silver goes, silver is, in my opinion, at the top end of this cascading channel line, which absolutely, even with these higher prices you've seen recently, since the beginning of this rally in December, has been in a longer term basis in a downtrend coming off of these highs at 2100. We can see within these channel lines quite eloquently went to the bottom. This most recent spike, look at how steep the angle is. Uh, did come to the top and it did stall here. We now have prices again below $18. So my sense is that in most likelihood, we will probably see a trade back within this channel to lower pricing. In other markets that we cover, incredible upside moves in the uh, U.S. equities markets with five of the indices going to new record highs. Dow Jones Industrial Average was certainly one of them. Uh, 20,412.16, up 142 points, a gain of seven-tenths of a percent. Uh, excellent, excellent move to the upside. That also uh, was seen in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ trading up about a half a percent higher at 57.63 and then the standard and poor's also trading to a new record high at 23.28 we also had the russell 2000 and the transports moving to new record territory as we spoke about when we talked about uh, gold, uh, the dollar is trading higher today, but it certainly did come off of the highs that it hit when it traded to a high of 101.11. Markets currently trading at 100.99. So traders, as far as the dollar index goes, we will get, I believe, some clarity over the next couple of days uh, when we hear what Yellen has to say as she goes and, and speaks before uh, on the Hill tomorrow as well as Wednesday. On a technical basis, though, we can say that there's been some real support that came into the market roughly at 99. We saw it really bounce off of this. We, of course, just being Monday, we've got a slightly higher market right now, trading up about two-tenths of a percent. But again, it's Monday. But we certainly got that bounce not only off of the 38% retracement, but also when we look at the 28-week moving average, which I have here as a dashed line. So in conclusion, I believe that we got out really at a proper time last week when we did pull profits at 1229 especially since the market now is trading at 1226 and it's traded to a low of 1220. Now, for those traders that have multiple contracts and are still long half of their positions, your stop should be at 1219 minimum. You can pull profits at any point, and if you're stopped out, you got full profits on your first half and a little bit less on this half. But as I said, we are going to stay flat with no active trades until more clarity becomes available as to our next move. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.